Hello everyone and welcome. As I promised you earlier this week, today we'll be talking about the Harbor Freight Inside Track Club coupons for June 2021. Get your pen and paper ready so you can start making your shopping list. There are over 200 ITC coupons for the month of June, so obviously I won't be able to talk about every single coupon in this video, or the video would become over an hour long. If I don't cover an item that you're interested in, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll answer any questions you have. Now I briefly glanced at these coupons before I started making the video, and I can tell you that there are a few items on here that I will be telling you to avoid because I have long-term experience with them. So watch for that commentary. As always, if you can't see these coupons clearly due to video encoding, all these coupons are available at my website under the Extras tab in High Resolution Image, so you can go see them anytime you want. If you're an ITC member, these prices will be in effect until July 1st, 2021. If you're not an ITC member, but you still want to get the savings from these coupons, just follow the link at the bottom of this page on my website and everything will be explained. So let's see what we have available this month. But before we do that, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to keep up to date on the latest Harbor Freight savings coupons, plus get notified about all the Harbor Freight tools that I review. So let's see what we have in store for this month. So these are the Inside Track Club coupons for June 2021. And one thing to point out right off the bat, nobody needs to comment about this. I know it, so I'm going to tell you about it. Ignore this date right here. I made a slight mistake when I typed that in and I put 731. The actual time that these coupons are good through is 7-1. Okay, so I made a boo-boo. No need to point it out. No need to make it in the comments. 7-1 is the actual uh, date that these coupons are good through. And actually, that brings up an interesting point. I find that to be very telling that these coupons do not expire on 6-30, which you would think they normally do. They expire on 7-1. That's telling me right there that starting 7-2, so in other words, 7, 2, 3, 4, and 5, Harbor Freight will be having a special promotion for the July 4th weekend. So for the four-day weekend, there will be some kind of promo going on. So that's why they extended these coupons one extra day, so it would work into their promo setup. So there you go. You know right now you're getting in advance up-to-date notice that there will be some kind of promotion going on for the July 4th weekend, whether it'll be any good, how many coupons there will be, whether it'll be a 20% off coupon, 25% off coupon, or a 30% off coupon. I can't tell you that at this time because I'm making this video right at the beginning of the month, but we'll find out as we get closer. And if anything good comes up, I will certainly let you know in a video or in my community tab. Depends how much information there is. If it's just a small bit of information, I'll put it in the community tab. If it's a lot of details, I'll make a special video to let you guys all know about that. Anyway, getting into these coupons. So starting right off the bat here, here we have the Pittsburgh Automotive 2-Ton Automotive Racing Jack 124. This jack used to be a whole lot cheaper before, and I know a lot of guys used to complain that the price on this jack never changed. Well, it changed, guys. It went up instead of down, because I think this jack used to go for $99, $94, something like that. I'd have to look at my old videos to see what that is, but I remember it was under 100 bucks. Well, now it's 124 so it went. It, the price changed. It just went in the wrong direction, so there you go. Now you know, if prices are good, grab them while you can, because you never know what's going to change later on. And here you have a battery charger, microprocessor controlled, $49.99 if you're looking for something like that. And here's another one, a jump starter, $169. Bucks. You know what? I recently did a battery bank review on my channel, and some people were saying that uh, they would be interested in seeing a review on power backup, uh, jump starter, just like this one here, something like this. So... I'm going to keep that in mind, and I will look for something on Amazon, and I'll see if I can come up with a good alternative for this, and I'll make a video on, like, a jump starter sometime in the future. But right now, I don't have an alternate, so here you go. This is what's available right now. If any of you guys know of a good brand or something like that, comment down below. Let everybody else know what experience you have had with jump starters like that. And here you have the Brake Bleeder Vacuum Kit. Now, this I do have experience with, and I will tell you, don't buy this kit right here for a very simple reason. When you buy this kit, it's 19 bucks, right? Okay, and that's with the discount. Normally, it's 25 bucks. You can get it cheaper than 25 bucks on Amazon or eBay. That's number one. Number two, 
this kit comes without any kind of a storage container, any kind of a storage case, anything at all. It just comes wrapped up in cellophane. So when you open up the cellophane, all these little bits and bobs down here are going to go everywhere. And trust me, you want to hang on to these because this is what's going to help you when you're bleeding the brakes. The pump by itself is good, but you still need the attachments to do the job properly. On Amazon and on eBay, you can get a kit that comes with all this stuff with a nice little plastic case to keep it all stored in when you're not using it and generally it's 19 bucks or less so don't bother with this go to those other places check those out and you can get a much better deal here you go with a zurich uh, obd2 tester 249 to be honest folks i've never used this but i wouldn't trust something this complicated from harbor freight i'd rather look online for a different brand because Heavy duty electronics like this, where there's a lot of complication going on inside there, I wouldn't get it from Harbor Freight. It's like saying buying a laptop or a desktop computer from Harbor Freight. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. Uh, hand tools and stuff, yes, they're very good. Uh, electronics, not so much. Speaking of hand tools and stuff like that, here you go. Here you have the Daytona jacks, three ton jacks, any color you want, $114.99. That's a good discounted price right there if you're looking for a Daytona jack or a good heavy duty three ton jack that is and the daytonas are not bad they're pretty good jacks here you have the microfiber cleaning towels for four uh 449 for a 12 pack not too bad some jumper cables 20 foot jumper cables 410 amp 30 bucks man these things have gone up i remember uh, many years back where you could get a set of jumper cables for like 10 bucks and you know maybe they were a little cheaper than this i can't say i'm just saying i've seen them for that price i can't tell you the specifications on that one that I saw previously but they used to be cheaper everything just keeps going up higher and higher and here you have a body fender kit 29 bucks that's not too bad you know body repair kits and so forth tend to be rather expensive so uh, right, well right there 42.99 regular price 30 bucks that's not a bad deal right there that's a good savings here you have a compression kit for 19.99 and like I always point out 30 bucks 20 bucks either way regardless of which way you're looking at it if you're not going to be using a kit like this on a regular basis don't buy this kit go to your auto parts store they will rent you this kit for zero money what you do is you go in you tell them you want to rent the kit they'll basically sell it to you and then when you come back they give you a full refund so that's the way they work it if you're just going to be testing one engine don't spend the money on this you're just going to be sitting there you know wasting your money and taking up uh, space in your uh, storage uh, your cupboard or whatever so i wouldn't do that uh same as a wheel puller you can do the same thing with this kind of stuff go to the auto parts store they'll rent it to you for free that's the way to go there and here you go uh bike hitch right there for your pickup truck 29.99 for your pick em up truck and uh, let's see these cargo carriers these are not too bad 39 bucks uh brother-in-law of mine got this a while back uh they they like to go camping and do stuff outdoors and stuff a lot so they carry a lot of stuff behind them um you know attached to the suv and he loves this thing so that's that's not too bad right there here's a dual ball hitch right here 17.99 that's not too bad a hydraulic uh pipe bender right there 169 not cheap but you know if you do that all the time may as well have a good one well at least have one there that works let's say here you have another compression kit the maddox deluxe kit 39 bucks again go to the auto parts store there's no reason to spend 40 bucks on something you may wind up using once maybe twice you can get at the auto parts store as many times as you want they'll you know it's not like you're cheating them and buying something and returning it they know you're going to return it so that's why it's perfectly legit it's not like when you go to a store you buy something and then you basically cheat them by saying i didn't like it and then you return it that's not good that's why some things some stores like harbor freight on some things they have a restocking fee kind of prevent you from doing something like that but the auto parts store they know you're going to do it so that's perfectly okay there here you have a two jaw puller set 21 bucks that's not too bad engine brush kit 14 bucks yeah that's interesting and here you have these upholstery trim kit uh, right here, a uh, tool set for $9.99. Uh, these are not too bad. They have a bit less, I mean, they're going to flex. All these tools flex uh, quite a bit. But these are going to be a little bit better than the plastic ones. The plastic ones tend to flex a lot. Sometimes they flex so much you can't get the part to let go because you just lose too much in the flexing. Here's a cooling system and refill kit, $59. I guess for some vehicles this may be useful i don't have a vehicle that's that complex that you need to balance out the pressure and so forth i've never had a use for this but 
I understand some of the German cars are a little bit tricky when it comes to flushing out their system, so that could come in handy. Uh, this right here, uh, $6.99 for 16 ounces of two-cycle oil. Surely I get this at Walmart a lot cheaper than this. $6.99, I think I get it for like 3 bucks at Walmart. So go check that out first. Don't jump on this one. Uh, the Walmart uh, Supertech brand, I think it is. It's just oil, folks. It doesn't really matter what, what label it has on it. It's just oil for your two-cycle uh, engine. So pretty much anything will do. And uh, they have it cheaper at Walmart, so I'd grab that. And here you go, a chamois for $7.99. You know, instead of a chamois, I used to use chamois for, uh, you know, cleaning and washing my cars uh, back in the day. Uh, microfiber gives you a much better finish than chamois. So I wouldn't bother with the chamois. Just a little pro tip for you. Get the microfiber. You'll never go back. I mean, you'll love those things. I, I really like, ever since I went to that, I really, really like those. And here you have with the Atlas 80-volt lithium-ion uh, lawnmower here, tool only. You still got to buy the charger and the battery separately. And I'm not 100% sure, I believe, this lawnmower takes two batteries. So you got to put that into consideration, two batteries. It won't run on one. You got to buy two separate batteries. So $279 plus the charger and the two big batteries, I mean, you might be talking close to 500 bucks by the time you're done with everything. I, like I said, I don't have this. I haven't looked that deeply into it. Unless you're really into, you know, electrical stuff or saving the earth or any of that kind of stuff, you can get a gas-powered mower a lot cheaper than this. A lawnmower like this, gas-powered, you can get it for about 230 bucks. Once you put all this stuff together, man, I don't know, but I'm, in, I'm into saving money. Spending almost, you know, 400 and something, 500 bucks for a lawnmower just seems a little crazy to me. So, you know, you guys do whatever you think is best for you. And here you have uh, one of the kink-free garden hoses. Never used this one. Uh, I've used the brown one, and it's horrendous. I won't recommend that. But this one, I can't say anything about this Niagara one. Never used it. And here you have a gigantic tarp, 29 by 49, 80 bucks. That's not bad right there, I guess. 79 bucks. That's pretty expensive. And here you have the green machine, the Portland Cordlid Electric Pressure Washer, $74.99. Haven't seen this guy come up on sale in a while. It's good to see it again. 89 bucks, yeah, don't pay that. 75 bucks, that's a good price right there. I have this exact same unit, but it was the blue one before it got rebranded into this green machine. I think it was Portland also. I don't know if it had a different name to it. I'm pretty sure it's Portland. I haven't looked at it in, a, in quite a while. But anyway, it's the same thing. And 75 bucks is pretty good. It does a darn good deal. I've been using it for a few years now. Never did a review on it. And it's kind of pointless now because they don't make the blue one anymore. It is a good machine. I've used it. I paid 75 bucks for it. And um, I would say get this one instead of the Bauer one any day of the week. This is much, much better. Better price. Save yourself some money. Here you have a 6x6 six six greenhouse, $104.99. Maybe it's just me, but it, this is not a greenhouse. This is like a portable storage unit or a portable garage or something like that. This is not a greenhouse. Greenhouses need clear material. It needs to be either clear plastic or glass. You need the sunlight to get in for it to be a greenhouse. You put plants inside this thing, you're going to die. That is just silly. Harbor Freight, come on, rename this thing into like a portable storage garage. You cannot put plants inside there and expect them to die because they'll be cooked with the heat inside there, but they won't get any sunlight to be able to grow. Plants need sunlight for photosynthesis. Don't buy that, folks. All your plants will die. And here we go with my favorite little drill master angle grinder, $12.99. No, don't buy that. That is terrible. Do not buy that. They just had this for $9.99, and they have it for $9.99 all the time. They just had it a few days ago during Memorial Day weekend, $9.99. They may actually put this for $9.99 again for the 4th of July. So hang tight for that. If you're looking at one of these or you just want to buy it because some guys have commented they have four or five of these, that way they don't need to change the attachment. That's a good idea. Nine bucks, you can't go wrong. So this is one I say, do not buy for the time being. Wait for it to go even cheaper. And here you have another angle grinder, 64 bucks from Hercules. And you know what? This is an okay angle grinder, but I would say check out a video that I have. I'll see if I put a link up in the corner for you guys. I found a better angle grinder on Amazon, which is a paddle angle grinder like this. And it actually has more power than this one, more RPMs, does a better job, and it is a decent price. So I would say check out that other one first. Check out my video. That way you'll get to see what it looks like, how it performs, stuff like that. And then you can decide from there if it's the one for you. 
and these cobalt steel step drills right here 34.99 again they may be cobalt they may be you know slightly better i don't know 34 bucks is a big step up from the less expensive ones that they have the drill master ones or whatever they call them that are only like 13 bucks so from 13 to 34 uh, it seems a lot to me. I mean, if you're using these a lot and you want a good long life out of them or something like that, uh, maybe the cobalt steel might be the way to go for you. But if you're just using it for stuff around the house, I would say go with the other ones. I'll put a link up in the corner. I reviewed the other set where you can get either two or three, and they're around, you know, 10, 13 bucks, depending on which set you get. And for stuff around the house, the other one's way, way better than this. And here you have the T-Shank General Purpose Jigsaw Blades. These are the new blades for modern jigsaws. And I have a lot of people ask me, they have the older jigsaws, and I've done a restoration video on an older uh, Craftsman jigsaw. If you want to go see that, I'll put a link up in the corner. If not, it's on my uh, video uh, page on my channel. And I still have, the, I, I have two of them. I still have two jigsaws, the old Craftsman style. And the old ones were the U-Shank, U as in under and Harbor Freight does sell those. So if you have one of the old jigsaws and you're looking for the old style blades, Harbor Freight does still have those old fashioned blades. So you don't need to go crazy looking for them. You can get the new ones and you can still get the old ones there. They don't put the old ones on sale very much. So, you know, you gotta pay whatever the price is, but it's better than not having the blades at all and having to buy a whole brand new tool. So there you go. And here you have the Drill Master Electric Planer. And they had this on sale with the regular coupons. I just talked about it in my other video where it's just the regular coupons. I think it was about 34, 30 something dollars, something like that. I forget offhand. Anyway, so here's a few bucks cheaper if you're an ITC member or you just want to shop like an ITC member. And let's see, here we go. The uh, Hercules Oscillating Tool, multi-purpose tool, 3.5 amp right here. This is corded, not cordless. And, uh, you know, I don't know if this is a whole lot better than the regular Drill Master or Warrior one that they have. Uh, you may want to compare between the two, the Drill Master or Warrior, whatever brand they're calling it now. Because I have the old one, and then they've made changes to it since then. I still have the old one. And uh, it was bigger, bulkier, and so forth. They've made it a bit more streamlined now, a little lighter weight. But my old one's still working, so I have no reason to change it. Uh, if anything, maybe, I mean, I won't probably get another Harbor Freight one, but maybe if you guys are curious, I may find something on Amazon and uh, give you an alternate for that as well. A lot of you guys keep complaining you don't like what Harbor Freight is doing with their pricing and lack of coupons and lack of discounts and lack of catalog and all that. And I totally understand where you're coming from with that. I totally get it. And that's why I am looking for stuff on Amazon to give you an alternate so you can go shop somewhere else if you want something a little bit different. And here's one tool, the double, cut saw, the double cut saw, that I will tell you, do not buy this. This is a horrible contraption. Somebody came up with this thing, I don't know, like 10, 15 years ago, and they started selling it on TV, one of those only sold on TV things, and then eventually it made it you know, down the road to other companies and so forth. And Harbor Freight is still one of the few companies that still sells this saw. And you can tell by looking at the case, it has not been updated. That tells you how far back this, this saw was made. That's, that's one of their old-fashioned style cases. That case right there is like over 10 to 15 years old. So they have not updated it or rebranded it or anything because it doesn't sell well enough to invest money in it. And the thing about this saw is you basically have, it's like a, a circular saw, a mini circular saw, but it has two blades spinning in opposite directions. And it has a lot of problems with binding up. And one of the things is that there's uh, like right here, I don't know if it's right here where this is or right behind it. There's a place where you're supposed to insert a wax stick, kind of like a glue stick for a glue gun. It's like a wax stick. And that wax stick, you have to insert it as you're cutting so that it'll lubricate the blade so that they don't bind up. Trust me, folks, you don't want that trouble. Just get a regular circular saw. It's been working fine for decades much better than this this was somebody's crazy idea and mm, no no it, it, it just doesn't work and here you have one of the polishing pads a little while back i had one of you guys ask me about this wondering when the bauer pads were going to be going on sale well here you go 7.99 instead of 9.99 here is the polishing pad the blue one you asked me about it and here it is 
And let's see, we got uh, different drills and stuff like that, hole saws and all that. There you go. Hercules impact rated Phillips uh, inserts. There you go. Here's some terry cloth bonnets, two pieces. Again, for your polishing, if you want something uh, inexpensive, $3.99, that's pretty good right there. And your Hercules blade for your uh, reciprocating saws and your auger bits. And here you have some of the welding wire, two pound roll, $14.99. I don't know if this is any good or not. You guys can comment down below. Tell me if you have used this Vulcan wire and if you like it or not. And here's a few helmets for you. If you want some welding helmets, there's three to choose from right there. You can pick the one that has the features that you're looking for and the price that you're looking for. And here you have uh, one of the acetylene welding kits for $124. And they put this on sale quite a bit, quite often, so you can check that out. And here you have an arc welder, 80 amp, 139 right there, the Chicago Electric. And here, here's a couple of different things that I will warn you about not to use. This guy right here, the butane micro torch, this is really garbage. It doesn't work very well. In fact, it's so bad that they tell you it has no warranty. When you bought it, you bought it. No warranty at all. So I definitely would not buy that right there. This guy right here, the soldering gun kit don't buy this i bought this a couple years ago did a review on it thought it was really good at that time and here we are a couple years later and it barely hardly ever wants to work you can hear the humming you can hear the transformer buzzing around inside there but it really doesn't want to heat up not even barely enough to heat to melt a solder i have to like bang it against the bench and stuff sometimes so it'll get it to work but don't waste your money don't buy this just not good and here you have the quarter inch, three eighths and one half drive by Quinn, 50 bucks, lifetime warranty. If you're looking for a good set right there, 50 bucks, put that in the back of your car or something like that. That's not a bad toolkit to have around there. The extendable ratchet from Pittsburgh. This is pretty good. I have one of these and I've talked about it in uh, several videos that I've done. Top 10 Harbor Freight hand tools videos that I've done, stuff like that. It's a decent tool. I recommend that. It's pretty good. And here we have a really cheap one, $4.99. I mean, it's only you know, a buck off, 16% off. But if you're looking for a quarter, three-eight set, SAE and metric, 40 pieces, five bucks. I mean, you can't get cheaper than that. Same as these uh, combination wrenches, $15.99. Not too bad. And let's see, moving right along. Right here, this guy, the Pittsburgh 30-foot, one-inch uh, tape measure with ABS, $3.49. Ah, don't bother that. They put it a whole lot cheaper. I've seen this go down as low as $1.99. You can wait on that. Maybe there'll be a cheaper one down the road. Same as this guy, the bar clamp here, 12 inches. Well, it's not too bad, $2.99. I thought it was the 4 inch. 12 inch. Not too bad at $2.99. Uh, let's see. This uh, composite digital caliper. Now, you know, if you want a cheap caliper, Harbor Freight's the place to get it. They have several different ones to choose from. I bought one a while back, and it's not this exact one, but it's a Harbor Freight caliper. I find it to be quite useful for the average guy doing stuff around the house and so forth. Really good set. Um, you know, you don't need to go super expensive, super crazy. You're not building the space shuttle after all, like Terrell likes to say. So uh, I wouldn't uh, spend a ton of money on that unless you're doing some really high spec stuff. For stuff around the house, uh, it'll get the job done. This right here, the Bauer 16 inch tool bag, six pockets. It's not a bad bag. I've seen it at the store. It looks pretty decent. You know, if you're looking for a bag to carry your stuff around in, 10 bucks, that's not too bad. And they do have a Hercules version of it. Now this guy right here, the toolbox set four piece, this is garbage. Stay away from it. This is terrible. You look at it funny and it breaks. I used to have one of these and I wound up throwing it all away piece by piece. Because you look at it funny and it breaks. The plastic is that bad. Do not buy it. Stay away from that. And here you go, some Brad Nails, 15 bucks, 5,000 uh, pieces right there, not too bad. And here you have still some remnants of the uh, black compressors. The upright ones are gone, but here you have some of the uh, hot dog style right here, 10 gallon, 139, a whole lot cheaper than the McGraw ones. So if you're looking for a cheap compressor, that's a good way to go right there. And you got a lot of different nails and fasteners and stuff on sale. If you're looking for some of these, I mean, 5,000 pieces is not too bad. I mean, someone asked me a while back if I thought these nailers and stuff were any good from Harbor Freight. And you know what? Like I, like I basically answered him at that time, and I have to say, it's just a piece of metal. It's just a hunk of metal. How many different ways can you go wrong with that? They're just stamped out at some factory in China or something like that. They probably stamp out millions of them at a time. Whether it goes to Harbor Freight or goes to somebody else, they're probably all about the same. So, you know, unless you have really bad 
problems with them, I don't think it's that big of a difference. And here you go, the 8750 inverter generator. Uh, what uh, is it? 1149. You notice how they put the old price with the slash really big. They put the monthly payments really big, but they put the price really small, so you don't hardly ever look at it. So it's like, ah, oh, who cares what it costs? It's just like when people go buy a car. I, I don't care what it costs. What's my monthly payment? You know. So they try to do the same thing. Oh, look, it's only 96 bucks. There you go. Forget that it's almost 1,200 dollars. But anyway, I'm just joking around here, folks. But still. If it's something that you're interested in, these predators are pretty decent. So there you go, twelve hundred bucks right there, eleven forty nine. You know, I I love it when you know, <laughs> again a little side uh, comment here. I love it when I talk about these prices and I'll say something that's like forty nine bucks because I'm just looking at it. I'm I'm talking as I as I look at this stuff. I say it's forty nine bucks and people go, well, how can you say it's forty nine bucks? It's forty nine ninety nine. That's fifty dollars right there. Come on, people. Really? You got to be that literal about it? It's like, come on. I, I think you can see what I'm pointing to as I'm talking about it. So nobody's fooled because I say uh, 59 instead of 59.99. Everybody, get, everybody gets what I'm going for here. You know, I'm just uh, walking you through this and, and organizing these coupons for you because the, the Harbor Freight Inside Track Club website is a mess. All this stuff is scattered all over the place. It is horrendous. I get this stuff all organized for you so it's easier for you guys to see what's going on. And here you have the Genie Door Peak uh, video doorbell, 67 bucks. I don't know if this is any good or not. I did a review of a Hind Vision one not too long ago. You can go check that out. Prices change all the time on Amazon. So I don't know right now if it's the same or cheaper than this, but go check out my video on the Hind Vision one and see if it's better than this one. May have better features. Some of the stuff at Harbor Freight, some of their electronic stuff is not that great. So, you know, you got to watch what you do with that. And here is a rechargeable underhood work light, 30 bucks. You know what? This is not a very good light right here. Don't waste your money on that because to try to save a couple bucks, you're going to wind up regretting it later. There's a lot of bad reviews on YouTube about this light. I've looked at it in the store. It didn't seem very good to me at all when you start looking at the lighting and stuff like that. So that's why I got one from Next LED, which I just did a review on that. And I think the, the Next LED one is a much better light because it has more versatility. You can actually use the light as a handheld light, which I explained in that video. So I'll put a link up to that. Go check out that video. It costs you more than this, but it has so many more features, it justifies the extra price. This one, you're going to wind up just throwing it in the garbage because you're going to regret how bad it is. And here we have a 1.5 watt uh, solar battery charger. Somebody the other day was asking me about a solar panel for charging batteries and stuff like that. And here you go, 10 bucks. You can't get any cheaper than that. You want a nice inexpensive solar panel charger? There you have one right there. And here you have your abrasive blasting hood uh, right there. And... Uh, your yellow rain suits, every size you want, $8.99, regardless of what size you need. And let's move along here. I'm taking too long already. This video is getting too long. Let's see, the electric tape 10 pack, that's not bad right there, five bucks. That comes out to be pretty inexpensive, and I've used those tape quite often, and they're not too bad at all. Here you have some 10 gauge triple tap extension cord right there, 25 bucks, and a 16 gauge over here for seven. You have a six foot ladder, 54 bucks. That's not too bad, Franklin. Yeah, I, I've seen ladders, uh, uh, six foot ladders like this for about a similar price at Home Depot, so that's not too expensive. And let's see, here is the brown or tan hose that I've spoken about before. Three quarter inch, 50 foot. Do not get this, my goodness. I wound up throwing mine away because it's so bad. Had it for years, couldn't get it to uncoil, untangle anything. It is a nightmare. It will fight you every time you try to use it. It is a horrendous hose. Don't buy this. Maybe try the green one up there that we talked about previously. Try that one. This one, definitely no go. Stay away from it. Horrible, horrible device right there. All right, guys, so here we are at the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. Any questions, comments, put them down below. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.